final season uh, through the IHSA will be what they are terming the summer uh, season, and that would include baseball, softball, boys and girls track, and tennis. And that would run from the first part of May uh, through the end of June uh, with a postseason at that point. Um, unfortunately, I can't offer too, many, uh, too much information about the activities because uh, the IHSA have, has really not addressed those types of issues such as Scholar Bowl, the band, uh, contests, and, and things along those lines. But uh, it sounds like the uh, likelihood that most of those will be virtual. Um, as far as the upcoming sports that we have coming this winter that uh, are indoors, uh, at this point um, we are doing our best to try to have some kind of video available so that uh, parents and family members would be able to watch in the event that um, uh, they do not allow fans into the contest, which right now is a, is a strong possibility. But uh, we do have um, the camera systems up both in the uh, uh, main gym as well as at the football field, and hopefully uh, parents would be allowed to or able to watch those. So um, as I mentioned before, uh, change seems to be an operative word this year in everything that we're doing, whether it's academic, athletics, um, even, even work for, for those of us that are, uh, uh, have other occupations. So I encourage patience um, and I wish everyone well and, and thank you to everyone who uh, has helped make the fall successful.